Hi everyone, my name is Fatma. Today I will explain to you how to set up departments and display multiple departments on the 11 side button. By using call forwarding, you can create departments for your organization and multiple users receive the calls at the same time. It looks like a direct line button to the end user. The caller first chooses the department, then the call type. 1. Call forwarding with one department. To set call forwarding, navigate to call forwards from the site menu under organization. First, choose the user whose button you want to display on the website from the users list on the left. This user could be named sales, marketing, customer support, etc. On the right side of the page, add the users you wish to receive calls. Don't forget to set the department buttons to 24 hours open. If you define off hours or make it unavailable, it will direct all calls to the live message screen. Now you can add this department's button to your website. Whenever this line is called, all the users you forwarded the calls receive the call at the same time. First, the one that connects talks to the customer. 2. Super button with more departments. On the super button, you can display more than one department. First, the caller chooses the section, then the call type. All the users receive the call at the same time. To create a super button, go to organization, then users. Create a new user and call it super button. Click on the super button setting. Click see button styles of that user. Click edit of the roll up button or create a new button as super button. Under expandable button, click on the super button checkbox. Scroll down and select the call types that would you like to activate. The next step, go to call forward tab in your organization dashboard. Find the super button account. Select the accounts that you want to display in your super button. Add them on the right side of the page. The names of these accounts will be shown in the super button. Now your super button is ready to embed. In this video, I will explain to you how to set up custom domain for your video call and meeting room links. Go to your posting provider and create a subdomain of your choice and forward it to cname.11site.com. Go to 11 site, navigate to integrations in the site menu under organization settings. Enter your subdomain or domain in the box. Don't include HTTP, just write the domain such as call.mydomain.com. Once you enter your domain, select your link type, meeting room or user call link. Select users and rooms. Type the path, which is shown right after your domain with a slash. Don't forget to save it. Now, your CNAME is ready. Let's try it together. Call.curbutter.com slash Murat is our CNAME. When I click on this link, the call starts directly. Today, you will learn how to set up your e-line. Step 1. Navigate the e-line configuration in the side menu under e-line settings. Step 2. By default, your account is set to receive the incoming calls on your browser, as long as you keep your 11 site dashboard open in a tab. You can disable it by unchecking receive calls on browser. You can record all your incoming calls. Select the type of recording. Click on only support chat calls if you want to receive only chat calls. When you are unable to answer a call, callers can leave a message. Click here if you don't want callers to leave a message. When media access is denied, callers can continue with two options, chat call or leave a message. You can disable leave a message option when media access is denied. Then they can only continue with chat calls. Step 3. We provide three forms for you to utilize before and after your calls. Contact information form. This form is displayed to your callers before a call to have them enter their contact information, like their name, email address and phone number so that you can contact them back later. This is the default form. Check out Customize the Contact Information Form video if you wish to use Customize Form. Post Call Caller Satisfaction Survey Enable this form to request the caller to rate their call satisfaction. These forms also can be customized. Today I will explain to you how to customize the contact information form and get customer information before the call begins. Go to the eLine configuration in the site menu under eLine settings. When you scroll down the page, you will see the contact information form. Under the contact information form, you can select the default form. The default form includes the name, contact information, and the call reason in English. 
Changing the language of the form is pretty easy. Let's translate this form to German. First, copy the default form and paste it where you can work on it. This could be Microsoft Word or Notepad. I will use Microsoft Word. Here we will change just three title parts. First, the message. Copy our message and paste it in the parentheses. Second one, the call reason. Third one, the contact info. Now your form is ready. Go to eLine configuration part on 11th side. Select the use custom form and pass your form here. Other sections in the form. First, the title. We already seen that. The title is what colors see in that field. Name, email, and the call reason. You can change this according to your preferences. Second one, max length. The maximum number of characters that can be put by color. You can increase or decrease the number of the characters. The required section. You can choose which fields will be required for the caller to be able to start the call. Without filling this form, the call cannot start. Extreme your fields. It determines which fields you see when you receive the call. Today I will explain to you how to customize your profile. Step 1. Navigate to your profile from the side menu or by clicking on your name on the top right corner. Click on Edit Profile. Choose a profile photo, company logo and the background image. Step 2. As part of the service, we provide a public profile page. To change the default public profile URL, enter your custom address in the profile address box and save at the bottom. URLs are first come first serve. Step 3. Select your company text color in hex format. Your organization's name will be displayed in this color. Step 4. Add an initial welcome message in chat screen. When you accept a chat call, this message will automatically be sent as your first message. Step 5. Verify that your public profile is set up correctly by clicking Profile in the top menu of your dashboard. The public profile page is hosted by 11 site. In this video, I will explain to you how to disable pre-meeting screen. Go to the eRoom settings from the site menu under Organization. Click on the checkbox next to Disable Pre-meeting screen. Checking Enforce will apply these settings to all eRooms within your organization. If you want to make this selection separately for each room, you can set it optionally by selecting the value box. To make this setting for a specific room, go to Organization, then Meeting Rooms. Click on the Edit icon next to the room you wish to disable pre-meeting screen. And save it. You can also do this setting when you enter the room by clicking the Settings, More and Enable Meeting screen. With this video, you will learn how to edit your button style. Step 1. On the side menu, navigate to Buttons under Align Settings. Here you will see that by default, three button styles were already created for you. Default Video button. This button directly starts a video call when clicked. Profile button. This is the button displayed on your profile page. Roll up button. When clicked, this button expands to display three different call types by default. Video, audio and chat. You can rename your button in the name field. Only you will be able to see it on your dashboard. You can change the button style. You can choose one of the five designs that we offer for your button. You can also change the color of the button here. You can change the position and the button text. Also, you can add an image over the button. You can select the call type and change the text. Click here to add an external link. If you want to learn more about it, please watch how to add an external link tutorial. If you want to track which link, website or campaign generates the incoming call, you can add a tracker. In this video, I will explain to you how to put an 11 site button to your website to receive video calls. Navigate to Buttons from the side menu under eLine Settings. Click on the brackets for the button you would like to embed and the code will expand. To add a button to your website, copy these two codes and send them to your web developer. If you manage your website by yourself, copy the script on the top and add it at the end of your page's HTML source. Then copy the second code and pass it right before the body tag. Let's make an example together. I copy the first code, pass it right after the HTML source. Then the second code, right before the body tag. Now the button is here. If your website is built on WordPress, you can use our WP plugin. 
Go to WordPress plugin store and download 11 site plugin. Upload the downloaded file to your WordPress dashboard. Go to 11 site options on your WordPress dashboard left menu. Login by entering your 11 site account credentials. After logging in, you will see your existing buttons. You can edit these buttons by clicking the link on the page and refresh the button list by clicking refresh button list button. Fixed position buttons can be activated by just clicking activate button. Your button will be shown on every page of your website. All buttons including inline buttons can also be implemented on a specific page just by copying and pasting the short code into the page code. This video explains the features of the meeting rooms and how to use them. First, screen sharing. Once you click the screen share icon on the bottom left, you will have three options to share your screen. Only audio mode. In this mode, you can join meetings with only audio, while all open cameras are turned off. You can continue the meeting, even if your internet connection is poor quality. 3. Chat. You can chat and send a document or photo during the meeting. 4. Transcriptions. You can enable transcription in 48 languages. 5. Invite person. You can invite someone to the meeting by clicking the invite person button. You can search your colleague from your organization or you can send an invitation, share the link or embed the meeting on a web page. Password protection and the lobby feature. You can add a password for your meeting and add a lobby feature for your meeting rooms so that nobody can enter your room without admin confirmation. 7. YouTube lives streaming and all the other settings. When you click on the three dots on the right side, you see all the other settings. You can manage the video quality. You can use picture in picture mode. You can start live streaming, recording, and you can share a YouTube video and watch all participants together. You can select a background. By clicking on more settings, you can decide how everyone starts, muted, hidden, or everyone can follow you. You can also enable pre-meeting screen on this tab as well. Today I will explain to you how to enable the knocking feature and set up password protection for the meeting rooms. The admin may allow and reject participants using the lobby feature. To enable the lobby feature, follow these steps. Go to your e-room, click on the security option and click on enable lobby. If you want to add a password, type your password here. You can also copy and share the password easily, just by clicking the copy button. Don't forget, the password should be added at the beginning of every meeting. In this video, I will explain to you how to record your calls. You can choose an option to record all calls through your e-line. To start automatic call recording for all users, follow these steps. Go to Organization, Settings, e-line Settings. In the Record Call section, select the option you wish to use for recording calls. Record video, low or high quality, record audio or none. Click on the Enforce box to implement these settings for all the users under your organization. If you want to set automatic recording for a specific user, go to Settings, Eline Settings, Eline Configuration, select the type of recording under the Record Calls. To access the call recording, select the call from the History section and click on More. You can watch and download the call recording from here. Audio and video recording only works with calls received on browser. Today I will explain to you how to display a message to callers when you are not available to answer. The greeting feature lets you show a message to callers according to your availability. This message can be fully customized. Depending on availability, you can show different messages. Navigate to Greetings in the site menu under e-line settings. Click on Edit for Available Hours and text your message. Additionally, you can record a video message, upload a video or add a video from YouTube. Follow the same steps for unavailable hours as well. If you want to add a video as a greeting, click on the video message. Then Custom Video. Upload your video from your computer or record your own video. You can also add a YouTube video. Click on YouTube video and pass your URL for the video. Now your greeting message is ready. With this video you will learn how to troubleshoot permissions with your devices. 1. Android 
When you first download and open 11 site on your Android device, you will see alerts requesting access to your camera, microphone and photos. If you don't give 11 site these permissions, you will see an alert the next time you log in. If you are having trouble making phone calls even though you have given all permissions, go to 11 site settings on your phone, App Management, App List, 11 site, click on Storage Usage, Clear Data, Clear Cache. Check the permissions if you are receiving calls from your browser but not your phone. Settings, App Management, go to App List, find the 11 site, click on Manage Notifications and Allow Notifications. 2. iOS. When you first download and open 11 site on your iOS device, make sure to allow the app to display notifications, access your photos, microphone and camera. If you give all permissions but still you don't get any notification when you have a call, go to the settings, general, background app refresh and turn on background app refresh for 11 site. Chrome browser on a computer. You can also manage your Chrome permissions by selecting settings in the upper right hand corner. Go to privacy and security, then site settings. Find the 11 site and give all permissions there. For Safari browser on a computer, you can manage your Safari permissions by going to Safari preferences. You can manage camera and microphone settings for 11 site under website tab. We hope you find this video useful. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.